Hello, UML operator here. In the last session, you learned what Sparks EA looked like when you launched it. You learned about the title bar, some basic navigation and tooling. We talked briefly about the ribbon. We'll cover it in more detail later. We talked about the workspace, and eventually we'll get to customizing the workspace tailored just for you. We went through the browser, the work area, the properties, and the notes. Before we get into a deeper dive into the overall tooling from a basic level, let's just draw some boxes and lines so you get a hang for that. So we're in the default workspace layout. You have your browser, properties, and notes, and we're gonna create a new project. We'll cover this more in detail later, but what we want to do is just get to boxes and lines. So let's just call this project boxes and lines, right? There we go. So now we have a project called Boxes and Lines. The browser shows empty. Let's go ahead and create a new package. And again, don't worry about it. I'll cover this more in detail. I'm gonna use this icon up here to create a new package. And we're just gonna call this Boxes and Lines, right? And we wanna create a diagram. And there we go. We're gonna use a class diagram. I'll cover again more, don't panic. I'll cover this more in detail later on. So now you can see over in the browser, we have a diagram, double click it, and we have a blank workspace here to start drawing in. Note that I said drawing, not modeling. We'll get to the power of Spark CA and modeling later. So we're gonna do some drawing, but the first thing that we need is a toolbox to give us the drawing elements to get started. There's two ways to do that, and again, I'll cover it later in more detail. You can go on design, click toolbox, there's your toolbox. The other way is at the start, click design, and look at that, shortcuts, you can get the toolbox, and it brings the toolbox up. The toolbox loaded by default, because we chose a class diagram, the tools available for drawing a class diagram or class elements. See, we've got class, we've got associations, and so on. So in the toolbox, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a class element, Drag and drop and hold down the left mouse button, drag and drop that class element in. There's our first box, just happens to be a class type element, all right? Um, I wanna draw another class element or box with a line associated to it. So when I select this, you'll notice these three icons that are here. Um, I'm gonna hit the up arrow, hold the mouse button down, drag it over to the right, let go of that, and I just want to draw another class, right? and I just want a basic association, right? So I'm gonna let go, there we go. We've got two boxes and we've got a line between them. The other way they do this is drag and drop another class element in. Let's drag another class element in or box. And we're gonna draw a line between these two. Hold down the left mouse button, drag and drop. We're gonna use association type. In later videos, I'll get into all of these fun things here. We're just using simple associations or lines. Select that, there we go. We've got three boxes all connected with lines and you can keep doing that and playing with that and get comfortable with the toolbox and just simply drawing things within your work area. So to recap, we created a project for bo called Boxes and Lines. We drew three boxes that could be any elements, objects, actors, whatever, and we drew some lines between them. This is just the drawing power of Sparks. Later, we'll get into modeling. I hope you're finding this content useful. Please leave like if you like this content, especially comment, good or bad, down below so that I know what you want to see as you're moving forward. In our next session, we're gonna get into the navigator, navigation bar, I like to call it, um, which I love and use very much. We're gonna get into customizing your workspace, laying out things that work best for you, um, and configuring your workspace to work for you in various scenarios. Thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you later.